Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I feel like we're doing the last part of a little Epic Mini series. Today I'm going to show you the Seiko SKX uh, 007 and 009 with the double domed crystal. And hopefully videos are going out the correct, what, a correct way. You've already seen Watch and Learn 52, I think it is, where I showed you the difference between what a single dome and a double dome is. Um, you're going to kind of see it in this video, but really the Watch and Learn does a much better job of explaining everything and, and the different uh, visuals that you'll see on the watches. Uh, so my own wrist check, I'm back to the uh, Breitling Aerospace and... This might be a shocker for you. I know, I know it's, it's been on camera before. Time, tough to get it on there. There we go. It's a G-Shock reverse, uh, reverse display, and it's out because, believe it or not, it, it's solar, and it needed a charge, so it's been out for a few days. And uh, So I thought I'd wear it today. Anyway, let's check out the uh, SKXs with the Double Dome Sapphire Crystal. So if you watch the channel regularly, you know I've been talking about these watches for quite a long time. So first I did the SKX uh, with the Super uh, Oyster and the Super Jubilee bracelets. Then I did them with a flat sapphire. Then I did them with a single dome sapphire. And now I'm doing them with double dome. And I plan to offer all four of these varieties going forward as a regular item. As, uh, as supplies exist, obviously. So this is the double dome sapphire version. I'm doing two types. As, as usual, I'm doing the 007 with the Double Dome Sapphire and the Strap Code Super Oyster 3D Bracelet. And I'm doing the SKX 009 again with the Double Dome Sapphire and the Strap Code Super Jubilee Bracelet. So what are the differences or, you know, if you go back and see some of the other videos, you'll see that I did the single dome video not, uh, not too long ago. So. You might be able to know the difference if you watched uh, Watch Learn number 52 recently, and if you didn't, you know, we'll do a little side by side. So let me, you know, I'm going to start with the 007, uh, and then we'll move our way over to the 009. So in my left hand here, this one here, this is an SKX 007 single, with a single dome sapphire. And this one in my right hand is a 007 with a double dome. The difference is, is that you lose the magnification distortion effects. When I tilt the 007 like this, the single dome, you'll see, you see how the light starts to get distorted and it plays with the dial and all the markers. If I do that on a double dome, that effect does not happen. Essentially because the magnification is being canceled out by the curvature of the crystal. So it's a much cleaner look. Uh, it does have a blue AR coating, anti-reflective coating on the underside of the crystal. So we try to cut down on reflections, but of course, as you can see, the, the, you know, the reflections are abundant um, in the studio. But you could and check that out. It's just the crystal, it doesn't disappear, uh, but you just see you know, the faint outline of it. Whereas you know, with this guy, you know, side by side you see the distortion. I do think a lot of people prefer double dome uh, to single dome, but at the end of the day, it is, you know, it's simply user preference. Um, they will all sell for around the same price. This will be a little bit more because the crystal is more expensive, somewhere probably around 410 or 420 or so. Um, and uh, they will be live on the websites uh, for purchase. So, you know, a lot of people asking, you know, a lot of questions on all the Sapphire upgrades that we're doing. So, number one, now, to answer the, the biggest questions, no, the watch is no longer certified to 200 meters ISO 6425 diving because we have removed and replaced the crystal. We do water resistance check them to the Swiss standard, which is three atmospheres or 100 feet. Uh, so, you know, they're good for recreational, recreational use, snorkeling, playing in the pool, you know, whatever you're going to do. If you're going to scuba or something where, you know, it's extremely important to have a time-telling device on you, then I would not recommend it for that because, you know, why risk it? Um, the other question that a lot of people are asking is the warranty. Um, because we are doing the work with our own watchmaker, uh, you don't void any warranties. The warranty is a store warranty. So you still get the full uh, two-year store warranty. Uh, so that's the 007. And then I'll do the same thing with the 009. Now you'll know just by going like that, that this is the single dome crystal, right? And I'll just reach over here, excuse me. You see I'm still wearing my Breitling. Uh, you'll see the double dome on the right. And again, you don't get any visual distortion from the crystal. It looks good. And again, it's a matter of preference. Uh, 
the double dome does stick up just a little bit more than the single dome. And because it's sapphire, you're not going to really scratch it. So just because it sticks up a bit more doesn't mean that it's going to be uh, more scratch prone. Uh, the difference really is just going to be in the way it looks. And again, it's totally a personal preference. You may love that, or you may love that. It's again, it's a hundred percent up to you. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it's all, it's all in what you like, as I like to tell people. We, you know, wear what makes you feel better. I'm not sure we really need a wrist shot of this. It's been shown on my wrist a thousand times, but just so you can see the total effect of the double dome, there it is. It fits fine on my wrist. People, you know, do ask me, do you wear an 013 or 007? I, I like the size of the 007. Uh, it just has more wrist presence. Um, and I think the crystal, in this case, just really uh, it looks so nice. A little bit of a blue hue. And I just love the clarity of it. I think it, I think it looks awesome. If you want a loom shot, there's a loom shot. Double seven in my left hand, the double nine in my right hand, of course. It's Luma Bright, it glows great. These all still run on, you know, I guess I didn't say it before. It's all the same Seiko specs. It's the 7S26 automatic uh, movement. It does not hand wind, it does not hack, uh, but it is truly the workhorse of the Seiko automatic movement fleet. Um, and there's no denying that these are not awesome looking watches and probably icons uh, in their own right. Okay, so what is next? You know, now that I've done the 007, the 009, I am looking at moving on. I might do the Orient, the Ray and the Mako, but you know, they've got the, the Mako USA and I'm not sure I can buck up against that um, better than they can. So that I'm a little, I'm a little uh, indifferent on at this point. I'm not quite sure yet. I, I will, do the turtle. I want to do uh, Seiko turtles, the SRP777, uh, with uh, double dome crystals. And I've started the wheels in motion for that one. And uh, so I think that's a modification that people have been have been requesting. And I, I think it's something that takes a, you know, takes the classic dive watch this time in a turtle case and, and elevates it with that double dome crystal. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I can't, I can't get enough of it. Uh, I do love the double dome. I'll probably stick with my single dome for now, um, but I do love the double dome. It is pretty cool. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the Seiko SKX Sapphire mods with the double dome crystals. Oh, I should say, we do sell the crystal separately. Uh, if you already own a 7799 and want to upgrade the crystal yourself, we do sell the crystals. Uh, so uh, if I remember, I'll put a link down below to just purchase the crystal by itself. Anyway, uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.